Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to our live. And when you guys get here, let us know that you are here with us. I'm going to be trying to monitor the comments on my phone. We'll see how well that goes and everything. So, uh, Sean is waiting outside. Here comes the comments and he has everything ready to go. So we're going to start outside and I'm going to go join him in just a second. All right, guys, I think I do not know. We don't know. Here, let us know. Let me see if I can hear us on Facebook. If you guys can hear us, I only see one person on. Oh, no, wait, that's something else. I think so. Yeah, we're, we're scratchy. So. If I can hear us on Facebook. What does that mean when we're scratchy? It's, it's the... Then I'll go inside and, and you can, get an overview. Yeah, if you bring it over, then, you know. Should be able to hear us pretty good now. Hopefully. Look at him. He has, like to carry, a... has to carry everything. So this is it. Hope you're all seeing this. Alright, Sean. So go ahead and take it away and they'll let me know if it, the audio is super bad. Or the video goes bad. <laughs> so this is what we got. We have our uh, rhododendrons, which is the state flower of Washington. Done with red and white LEDs lights, some white lights on my acid little green tree. And we have these nice, pretty colored little trees with some other lights along with it. And of course, what we saw on the house, the icicle lights, red and white wreaths. All along the blinkly, twinkly lights. And then you should be able to see this here. And we got these little guys. We got these for a few years back, but it's really cool. And of course, our more icicle lights all the way. Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Santa, I know it's a little hard to see because it's dark outside. Very cute. But this is the outside. Uh oh, our lights aren't chasing us. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that is. We're going to have to fix that. Or get a new set. I don't know. I just... I.e. fix it. I don't know how to fix it. Shall we go inside? Sure. Let's so, go inside. Let's go inside. Um, someone asked, where is our door sign? Literally, I was chalking up until this video. <laughs> um, so we were supposed to go at six and then Sean was worried about our bubble and our microphone. So we had to test that. And so it will go right here. Yeah, so we'll sit right here. And we'll fix our lights here. All right. So I'm gonna go put this down and hopefully that fixes yeah. the issue. Once we, yeah, once we set that down. Okay, and All then right. I still have notes, or this up, so I should be able to monitor still the comments. Just know that there is a little bit of a delay. Yes. All right, so welcome to the main, we'll show you both lights on and off. This is our main living space where we celebrate Christmas. This is with no lights on. So it pretty much lights the entire room. We started late Friday night and all weekend I have been, we have been doing the inside. Today, Sean put up lights yesterday and we also did a lot of chalking, which I'll show you my chalking here. These are from Costco. 
and let's go ahead and turn on some lights here so we can see what everything looks like actually in the lights. So we have the tree. Our theme here is gold and burgundy. Um, burgundy, or some people say maroon. So you'll see that throughout the uh, living room. And we, or I, used to work at a law firm um, as a receptionist, and they put a lot of flowers in their trees. So every year we've been adding flowers. This year we added these More, some, and um, these. Hydrangea. Yes. And so the gold hydrangea. Um, and then, of course, we have some bows, uh, some nice big gold stars. It's a nine foot tree. Nine feet. Nine feet. And the topper is like kind of these spiky. It's six things. pieces put together. Um, and I'll go up there so you can see. Yeah. It. So it's a very easy tree to actually put up. Yeah. So you'll see here that that's all the pieces up on the tree. And then it has a bow and everything like that. And then it just goes down from there. So our theme of course is gold and maroon. And this year I wanted to uh, do a, a, a masterpiece board. So we always had a board in here, but nothing that was a big grandioso board. So late last night until about one in the morning, I worked on this board and just finished it with the burgundy and gold with Chaka Tour. So this is a last year transfer. Our cheeks are nice and rosy and comfy because they are we, but this all comes from uh, Mary Everything. So we have some really nice um, shimmer gold and curry and current jam and, and red, and it's on our huge big board, um, but it really, really turned out exactly how I wanted it to. The boards on each side were from last year that I carried over. The only thing I added this year was the berries um so those are surprisingly just hobby lobby boards that i painted so one says noel and the other says joy to the world so we'll go over to that one Ooh, la la joy to the world and i am monitoring comments so i see wow amazing hi sarah d and i'm the lady and so over here is my ray dunn gnome collection you guys know i love gnomes and they actually, Ray Dan released a gnome specific collection, which is all of these guys. The only thing that I know I'm missing, which I don't think they've released, is a candle for mischief. So they have a Mary and Magic, but not a mischief. So, um, so, and then these little gnomes, my mom's best friend or really close friend painted those. So they're very special to me. And you can tell that because a lot of them are broken and been super glued. <laughs> But, you know, such is the joy. Hello, Emily and Sherry. And I know my comments are probably a little behind. Um, so we definitely have a gnome theme throughout the living room. So we have gnomes on each side. We have gnome pillows next to our bird houses. So I added the bird houses. We have a golden retriever and gnome pillows. <laughs> this is what our goldens do all day. They're very lazy. Um, and then we have our big centerpiece gnome. With Stand next to it so you can kind of see how big it is. And then um, up there is our, we have a vaulted ceilings and I like to put Christmas up there. So these snowmen I've had forever now, probably 15, almost 20 years. And the shelf sitters, we got those at Costco. I got the penguins at Safeway with the wood trees, but this year, the penguins used to be down here, but I wanted more of a scene to go all the way down. So now we have a scene that goes all the way down with penguins and snowmen and elves and all of that. And um, it goes, how, how tall are our ceilings? Um, well, the tree is nine feet, so I think 12. 12, okay. Um, so that is that. And then in the corner here, we have our nativity. Sean is not big on nativity and he's very picky. And I actually got this when I worked at Hallmark. It's called Willow Tree Dem Deco. And um, this year we added the lights on the bottom. We yes. used to have the lights on the top, but I wanted it to be just kind of um, glowing from the uh, bottom up. But I love this nativity. It is simple um, yet elegant and has all the pieces. They have this with Chalk Tour that will stay with the set because it matches this for unto us the child is born. And it takes up our corner. We used to have it on a long table. Um, and our, our couch, couch would go to, this way. Yeah, our couch used to sit here because it gave us more walking room through here. 
Um, but every time someone would sit, it would shake the table and no bueno. Um, over here is kind of, I haven't really decided. This, this was amazing when I saw it. Yeah, so this is uh, just a, a big giant redone ball. That thing is probably a foot across. Yeah, and then underneath is my very valued gnome from, Sarah D got me that. I, she, had, she had to like do some risky redone business. Not risky, but she traded with someone out of the area. Up here is our ledge. This year we added berries and Jim maroon. Shore? Uh, flowers this and gold snowflakes. So we've always had Jim Shore with the trees and the garland, but I really added a lot of berries this year, as you guys can see. So berries and gold snowflakes to tie everything together. And then let me move this out of the way on the counter so you can see this whole display when you come in. And I love this Jim Shore display. I don't even know if it's available. Once again, I got it when I worked at Hallmark. Um, and I'm turning on, I think, one of Sean's things. And um, this this is a plate from Polka Dot Pottery, or one of those places you can go and paint oh, your pottery. Oh, I made that. Pottery. He made that and painted that. Um, this is what I was working on right before, is my display going downstairs. So um, it's still not done because I do want to put some, uh, there's going to be some black Christmas trees. So a uh, set of three here, a set of three there with... Um, this is iced coffee, bright white, red. I got this pattern idea from Brenda, and then I just made it my own um, and put the, this is my favorite Santa Claus we've ever made. Mm -hmm. um, and so I have this on each side in the same colors, of course, with my glitter. I'm gonna go around here. So I literally just finished these right, right before we're gonna go live. And that snowflake, that glitter is a beautiful. Love your Scentsy Warmer. Isn't that cute? It is so warm in here. Holy cow, it's warm in here. <laughs> so from this angle, you can really see that display on the wall, which is what I wanted. It peeks through the tree. Um, so you can see it right there with the Santa Claus and he just pops out on that plaid background. Up here, this is a new display for this year. Um, I ended up getting these online um, and uh, this got sent to me in the mail. And I know I have another one, which is great because I already have a home for that one. but. Uh, it's also redone. There were candle lights. And then these uh, moose I got at, um, I think, TJ Maxx or Home Goods or somewhere the with the trees. These were from Joanne's. Those we are did, very. Did we get. Yeah, we did. These are really special to me. These are my mom's. She made them. They're just a. I, I'm assuming you cut them out in fabric and you just sewed them back to back. Um, and so they're nothing like. I always tell people, like, these are simple and outdated and he's got a pink face but my mom made them so they're priceless like i cannot replace these so they go on the wall here to church that this is new this year we had ray dunn release green this you year go ahead open up the doors and because of that i didn't have a space to put it on my table like i did last year so we actually packed up all of our everyday ray dunn and now this is all christmas ray dunn and it's literally packed full, but there is still things I'm searching for, which Sean doesn't want to hear. Um, so this, um, I do want, um, yes, I will show how I did the plaid behind the Santa in another one. Yes. Um, Carol B says, Sean, can you please pan more slowly? Exclamation. Yes, sorry. Um, so uh, we're going to put lights in here and I'm going to get more decorations for inside the, the mugs. Yeah, Kimberly, I will show how I did that plaid. It's uh, a little bit uh, involved, but worth it. The finished result is uh, amazing. And then he has his overflow. Remember, pan slower. Carol's getting sick. All right, girl. So I want to get lights in here because it is kind of, it, it's nice, but when you close these, it does, it's not as, so I think lights in there would be nice. Um, yeah, nice. So let me put these back before I show you the rest of the kitchen and the bathroom. So we have this, this, I think that, and then that. And I am trying to watch comments too. Uh, kitchen, um, we have these. Ray Dunn, which is the red. I love the red. Ray Dunn. Um, and we have this now. I didn't get to it, but this will have 
chopped couture snowflakes all over it. So uh, that'll probably be done tonight. I've had this for a long time. This is actually made by a guy here at Lux Spokane. I just added the berries and lots of them. I'm really into berries this year. <laughs> Um, and the only thing over here is our little, this is actually where we put, um, or I put all of my mom's recipes. So when we, um, do the, our annual baking, this, uh, guy has all of the recipes inside there. So that's where I keep my mom's recipes that we will be doing on Twitch, I think this year, right? All on Twitch. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. There we go. I was like, he's stuck. Um, yeah, so it will be on Twitch this year, Sean said. Okay, so there is that. Let's see here. Do you, oh gosh, um, if I'm missing your question, I'm sorry. I can't wait for Christmas recipe. Lights would be amazing. Do you only decorate with Ray Dunn or do you also use it? Sean is requiring us to use it this yes, year. Yes, have to use so it this year. So this year we do have plates, bowls, our soup bowls will be in here too, so yes, they will be used. Um, I tr he's trying to make me use it all, besides just decorating it. He, that's the only way I'll let, he'll let me buy more, is if I promise to use it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, so once again, gnomes everywhere. All right, so we're gonna go, this is new. We added a wreath on the inside because when you look at our door, it's plain Jane. It was plain Jane, and it has a maroon and gold, and it ties into the tree. So here's a, a, a shot of the garland going down. I just added the berries. And then in here, um, is I do decorate our bathroom, which is pretty much the setup of what it was last year. The only difference is the read the uh, Chocotour graphics in there. Betsy says, so if we don't do Twitch, we won't be able to watch your baking. Um, we'll see what we can do. The reason... Um, Everybody can do Twitch. Anybody can do Twitch. Anyone can watch Twitch. The reason YouTube's hard is now because of the COPA laws, but also we've done it twice now on there. Um, so it's already on there, so I thought we'd give it a Twitch. You do not have to have, um, have Amazon Prime to have Twitch. Anyone nope. can watch Twitch. It's just a link that we'll share. Um, the, the Amazon Prime is if you want to support us. As an Amazon Prime member, you can support one creator, and then it helps compensate the channel. Um, but you, it's not charged to watch. Nope. So we just made these, or I just made these this year. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason, my inspiration was, if you see in the shower curtain, sorry, I know he's moving a lot, but there is a little bit of a plaid there. So I wanted to make that. And then this here is a golden retriever. Hello, little golden retriever. Should we make you a little Santa Claus golden retriever? Huh? You want to be Santa Claus? Yeah, we do. All right, so that's the upstairs. So let's go downstairs. Tobes, you got to move. We're going downstairs, dude. Hi, Tobes. So this is the, the one that's normally... Should I bring that thing down here? What? For our mics and stuff, or will it be okay? Should be fine, but you might want to go ahead. Okay, and bring it. so that's what we used to have in our living room. But now I have the big one. And this one, yeah, the other one's a lot bigger than this. That was our first year with Chalk Couture. I have sent out all invoices for, oh, not for the bundles yet. That will be coming. Sorry about that. Um, today got away from me on finishing up chalkboards and stuff. Let me turn on the lights in here so you guys can see. So the first thing Sean's showing you is I have this train. And this year, I did something like this last year, but it was perfect because we have the transfer that has kind of the city already behind it. And then I got the moon from a the Haunted Mansion for Halloween. And then I did Santa in gray with a little Rudolph in the front and then glitter for the Santa Claus that's coming to town. Um, and then we actually, I re-glittered all of this cause it wasn't very glittery. 
Where did you get the good tiding frame? So the good tiding frame, this frame that you're speaking of, um, is a Hobby Lobby frame. Yep. So before we had, um, before Chocotour started getting a lot of their frames and stuff, this was the first year with Chocotour, and you can tell that because I made a lot of mistakes. The paste was a different consistency and it would peel up. So you can see right there, I made some mistakes down here. I mean, see where, our, like, especially in the joy, like it's kind of bubbly. I mean, it's still, I love it. From but, before you can. Um, okay, uh, so this here is uh, just angels that remind me. My mom had an angel in her window um, that was broken all the time because we had pugs and they would knock over the angel. So this is more to honor her and stuff. I got these at Goodwill and it just, uh, this is the same board as last year. We don't even have this transfer anymore, but it matched so well that I didn't want to get rid of it. Let's see. I love that train too. Um, that train isn't too old. Uh, I think we got it probably in 2009 at Costco, I think. Over here is, there's a, a place, so every, weekend before Thanksgiving, there's a craft show in Spokane, and there's one person that actually um, paints pottery like this, and I forget their names, but um, I always have a lot of their pieces, so I got the penguins and that they're hand-painted by this person, um, and they just happen. These are actually Department 56 trees for North Pole. And then over here is just a whole bunch of Michael's stuffed animals. <laughs> so little things. So basically upstairs is more our classic, um, I don't wanna say fancier, but it's more of the maroon and gold and, um, you know, classic Christmas. Down here is just fun, lots of color, things that remind me of my childhood, that kind of stuff. Yes, we can do notifications before we start the, pen, the that. Let's see. Um, so yeah, so these are just the village. Over here is, I shockingly used to work at Build-A-Bear Workshop. Not very long, not a fun job, let me tell you. And I got these uh, from there. So when I worked there, they had Rudolph and then I think they released her the same year. He came later and then these guys are like little Basically, you could buy them as little sidekicks or something. So it's just misfit Rudolph. toys. The misfit toys. Yeah. And then this is all my mom. So that's my mom and me in front of her Christmas tree. And then it represents the three boys. So there's me and my two brothers because she had three boys. Um, and that's my mom. And then she made this one, this angel. I made these with my sister in law. Heat and cold miser. I, heat miser and yeah, cool miser, and then um, snow miser, I think. Is snow miser, one. yeah. And this, I need to get the one this year, which is a, a, a snowman telling his young snowman um, Kid. a Christmas story. So um, I have every single one of these. I, they started a year before when I worked at Hallmark with these caroling snowmen right here, which I need to turn all the batteries on. And then when I worked there, it went from the Caroling Snowmen to the Snow Buddies, these guys. And then they've released one every year since. And so um, I have every single one of them except for this year's. We need to go to the mall tonight and get that. Uh, this is this year's Merry Christmas. And this, if you stand over here, which Sean will have to walk over here, but when you stand over here and look at it across the way, hopefully it shows on the video it is absolutely stunning it is you it, it sparkles like when you're walking up towards it it changes from yellows right. to greens to blues to pinks and it's just it's amazing i i couldn't be happier with the way that board turned out and then the socks underneath are and um, this was made by my grandma. Um, she made my mom's. And then the when we were grandkids, she made the bigger ones for us to get toys in there. So these are granny squares that are knit. And then my mom hated making the granny squares. She could do it. So Sean's um, is one of the few that my mom made that was striped like this. And I've often thought about making one that 
matches, but I love the fact that my mom made that, so it'll stay that way. This is our Christmas tree downstairs. This one is definitely in honor of my mom. She did red tinsel, red balls, red and white candy canes, and then just random ornaments. We used to have a rotating base, but it broke, snapped right snapped. at the base. Um, Tana goes, did you guys ever get your new sofa? Why, yes, we did. Come on in. Normally, I can just sit here and rotate it. For those who saw it last year, was able to see all the stuff. Yeah, and we do saran wrap that every year, so we don't, because it takes, when we used it individually, oh, look at that, that's so funny. I always forget to, that, Melody Lane. I should send her that. Um, the, uh, everyone says, do you really saran wrap your tree? Yes, we do, because Sean dreads putting ornaments on this thing, because... Mm -hmm. There's Hallmark so, ornaments there's are all individually so boxed, many. and it would take us like 12 hours to put up a tree. Not even right. kidding. Oops, sorry. It is a fun tree, and that's my mom's tree, kind of the, in honor of her. And then on each side of... Make yourself comfortable, princess. Have you had a hard day today? Was it a hard day today laying around and... Just seeing how everyone's doing. Some of the ornaments that are in here are series that we collected along the way. Uh, Lisa goes, I have that s'mores ornament. I love the s'more ornaments. They're no longer in business in this area. It, those all came from a shop go. And every year they would release a marshmallow on a s'more and they would all be different. They had a Santa and a Mrs. Santa and a... All of them, and then of course they went out of business. So I don't know where I'm gonna get them. This was one of our series that we had. The bear. <laughs> yeah, Angela, we do. We saran wrap the whole tree. So we literally go to Costco and buy the big, big, big saran wrap. Which. And we tie it at the top and literally go around in circles until it's nice and tight. And mm. then we just push it back, which this year might be different because we have a storage unit now instead of pushing it back but this is our new couch which we love it's a modular couch this where the princess is swings here and then that can swing here so it turns into almost like a big sectional or just a big, big giant bed almost like because you have six sections these are my Ray Dunn pillows that say Merry and Christmas and then um, on each side of the TV is um, stuff my mom made so she made these snowmen out of soup cans and then she crocheted the hats and stuff and then I made with my sister-in-law these caroling and then um, the penguins down here we made this is chocolate I took a red lamp and distressed it and did that these are just these were at Costco they're for wine yeah just wine holders yeah they're basically a really nice wine holder so you put your wine in there and then give it to them but I use them as decorations because I thought they were super cute. And there's the ones you made? Yep, I made those penguins and I based them on these ones I actually bought at a craft fair. So those ones obviously look really good. Mine are subpar. And then um, another lantern. This was a bright red lantern and I just took cotton in there and I took black chocology paste and distressed it to make it look kind of old. Um, and then did that, Mary Bright, these my mom made. These are, of course, Mr. and Mrs. Claus and the two elves. And this one's missing his <laughs> eyelashes. He's missing his eyebrows. I need to find them. We need to find We're looking for that stuff, right? Yeah, there. we're going to go tonight when we're done with this live and look for it. But And then these, I've had for the longest time. They used to go in my bathroom. And last year, this used to be actually a, a big screen TV. And then we had a fish tank and we took that all down. So it's just behind it is where I keep all of my... Uh, Chocotor surfaces. So back here is my when I do a project this is where I come to grab a surface and All that stuff. It's all stored back here But we used to have a fish tank there and we got rid of it And so it's always blank. So this year I told well last year We put these three little things up and then Sean has little D rings under here and I have these little clips So now they just clip on so it's super easy really simple. And it, it just fills in that space and because we do um, Christmas down here now. My family comes over and, you know, it's, we have a lot of people, so it's nice. These are my two. This I got from my BFF, Ali, And then this one a, um, Sarah got when she was redone hunting. So that's it. That's yeah, a whole house. If you didn't notice. The oh, ceiling. there's snowflakes from the ceiling, too. 
Isn't there, little miss? Little snowflakes. It's snowing in here, huh? Hi, Miss Dawn. So, um, Sean, there was a question mm -hmm. um, that someone said, and we can go back upstairs. I'll grab stuff. What is your favorite part of the decorations? Um, I think our tree is probably the, the one upstairs is probably the most grand thing that we have that I absolutely Is that love. your favorite? It is one of my favorite things, yeah. It is one of them. Of course, what you used to do, which we used to have it sat right here from, from where I'm standing all the way to that little niche of the wall. This whole thing, two tables, was the D56 or D56 Christmas Village. There was New York, the Santa North Pole. And yeah. Just a, but boy. I would have to say my favorite. It's hard. I love this living room mm -hmm. in general um, just because it's, I love the tree. Ever since we added the flowers, we probably have, there's gotta be at least 50 flowers throughout the tree. Um, so we have the gold, we have the burgundy, we have this kind, we have stars. So I love the tree. I love my ladder, which I need to add one that says Riley. I don't have a Riley elf. So there's Tanner, which is one of our, dog, our first dog, Austin. Our late Miss Min and Miss Maya, Han. Toby, and then me and Kenny. Now we just need to get one for. Yeah. And then these, I still have to, like I said, get trees, but I love the way, I, that's what I was working on this afternoon. This morning I was working on getting the Ray Dunn hutch done and um, getting caught up on some things. And then this, um, I want to keep the, the color. So I have white, red, and I didn't want to do shimmer gold. So I did iced coffee, which is pretty close. And um, I really do love how this turned out. So I'm really happy with the way um, this overall ties in with it and stuff. So I, I just love this room. I love the gnomes being added. It has little touches, but it's classic and stuff. So um, we have been super busy, guys. Uh, but the great thing is, is besides the, I need to do snowflakes in the window and the trees, now we just get to enjoy it and start getting mm -hmm. ready for the Christmas baking and of course buying presents and and stuff like that. So oh, yeah. now it's, you know, decorating is a big, it takes us, we started Friday late, Friday night and I would say we officially finished today, but we really finished last night with the exception of the boards and stuff. And Sean, of course, did all of the, the, um, decorating outside with the lights and he didn't kill himself so that's yep. awesome yeah so i need to turn on some more lights so they can see us again there i any am any other questions well thank you yeah um tamara says i can't wait to see how you did the plaid i will show that yeah probably on wednesday i'd be happy to to show that it is i will tell you a lot of washing your transfer and then drying and then washing and then drying um but it's a lot of fun and stuff What's that? We have to come in here so we can see each other. Let's see, where are you? There you are. Why are we in here, though? Why uh, can't we be like here? Why? Why? No. Oh. Lighting. Hi, Ray Dunn. I love you. It's a collection. <laughs> I know. Like Beanie Babies are going to be worth millions someday. <laughs> he has. He laughs ominously. So that's it, guys. Let's see. Um, your dog's. Look like our city me. Oh, thank you. No, thank you for watching, yes, guys. guys. We um, when will you be baking live? So we normally bake about a week and a half before Christmas. Mm -hmm. um, the only one that's we have to be careful is almond roca because if it's snowy out, even though Sean doesn't believe this, it does. If it there's too much moisture in the air, it will be more chewy than it is crunchy. Mm -hmm. So. We always work that. Look at that board. It's so pretty. I love it. Didn't it turn out nice? You know you just made like three people puke. No. Um, you need a Sean in my life. Hi, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Um, thank you. So, yes, this is the ice maker we talk about. Let me go show it to you. Um, it is a total luxury purchase. Um, it is the opal ice maker 
Uh, you can get it on Amazon. I think it's still on sale for like 364. I know that's a lot for an ice maker. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but we, I'm an ice chewer. So like I will chew. Mm. It's like Sonic ice. But they released this just recently, which is the side tank, which gives you more water that fills this. So we were filling this like twice a day full of water. Um, and this gives it to where we don't have to do that. And is it needed? Absolutely not. Is it expensive? Absolutely. Would I buy it again? I like debated buying one just for downstairs so I didn't have to walk upstairs <laughs> to get my eyes. They do make, uh, I think, a 40 pound or maybe even a bigger one. They do? It's for it's for people who like have restaurants like restaurants and stuff or big families? Yeah, restaurants, probably big families or just if you're That's if crazy. you have your own wet bar. I love it. Yeah. There's Austin and Tanner. Those were our let's see where they go. There's our first two doggies. Austin on the left. And that's actually little Toby Joe. Um, Carol, I am not doing chalking tonight just because I've been chalking all day and we wanted to do the tour. Um Let's see here. And we'll do, um, let's see here. I do love me some ice, Tanya. Yes, it's like Sonic Ice. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, seeing if there's any other questions here. Um, So yes, everyone wants to see, when we saran wrap it, we will. It literally takes, and I am not exaggerating, it takes us 10 minutes and we saran wrap it. The hardest part is once you saran wrap it, you have to push it where you store it. So it, it, we stored ours in like a back concrete room. Which so we have to push it, which normally wouldn't be a, a problem. The problem is the tree we have or we bought last year is from costco and it's wider than the other tree we had so we push it through a door and that hallway yeah that hallway and last year when we did that we pushed it it tipped over and we broke yeah. a whole bunch we, so i think we bro that's how we probably broke the base too yeah so but i think what we'll try to do is we can take the top of it i think it's in three pieces and we can literally so Saran Debbie says, is it. Twitch an app or a website? It's both. Twitch is basically just a live streaming um, website where you can go live and it kind of started off as a gamers thing. And then we, my nephew got me on it and you can um, support creators. So mm -hmm. basically like if you're an Amazon Prime user, you can support or you can just do it. It's kind of like think a YouTube subscriber plan where you can subscribe to YouTube and, and earn rewards. It's the same thing. Um, but we will let you guys know in advance when we're going to do our baking on there. We'll, there will also be a video on exactly how to sign up. Yes. Um, everyone wants to know if you knew my mom. I did. I got to know her for four, almost five years. Yeah. She died 2004 and, and we, we got 99. And so, yes. um, I don't know if you, how you want to answer this. Mm. Um, where is your family traditions and the decorations? None. And it's not because I don't want to. They, I keep asking Sean, like, what traditions this? And he's like, nothing. We didn't, so, like, there they was celebrated no tradition. Christmas, but they didn't have, like... No, we, we put a tree up, and that was about it. There was no lights anywhere. There was, you know... We had the same set of friends that kind of came over on Christmas Eve and a few family members, and it was very small, very... It was not nothing grand or like, uh, like his family was or like we know of other families that do that, so... Yeah, really and um, it is kind of funny because a lot of our house now, my, it definitely has a lot of, um, look at him. I know. He's so sweet. Oh. Go see him? I can zoom in from here. Oh, he woke up. But he hasn't moved yet. He's so handsome. Are you the handsome boy, hon? Is you a handsome boy? Oh yeah, he knows he's a handsome boy. <laughs> no, he's he's trying get... to find a toy and they got moved. He doesn't know where they're at. Um, let's see here. Um, get a wheel planner holder to put it until later. Anyways, um, yeah, so... Oh good, Jennifer, I'm glad to hear that. Um, so yeah, I, I would say like a lot of my mom's memories are here. And after she died in 2004, it probably took me 
four years to really feel in the Christmas spirit. I remember telling Sean for the first four to five years, I'm like, it just doesn't feel like Christmas. It just doesn't feel like Christmas. Mm -hmm. And I was focusing so much on my mom's traditions that I realized Sean and I need to make our own traditions and we needed to make Christmas. So it's now 2000, almost 2020, well, 2019. And now Christmas is definitely very much our traditions and Christmas morning and right. what we do for each other and right. Christmas baking and mm-hmm. yeah. So um, you got to make your own traditions. I know. Um, I did not make any of the gnomes. I bought them all at TJ Maxx or HG. I can show you guys how I made the penguins downstairs. Um, I have to remember how to make them. It's been a while. Um, and we also have, I can even show you how to make... Um, my pop can angel. Oh. I was watching. So the funny thing is, is we did a tour like this um, last year. So we did a tour of the house and mm-hmm. stuff. And that's how I knew how to decorate this year. Is we kept going back to that video and rewatching it. And I look a lot different. <laughs> you look great. Oh, thank you. Fabulous. Eighty pounds lighter. I'm super excited. Yeah. That did. I will show you guys how to do the flat. I try not to be have an ego, but I'm look at it I again. do love that board. It turned out great. The plaid though was Brenda Durant. That the color scheme. She did her Santa a little different, but I love that Santa on the white shadow box. He really pops. So that did turn out. I love it. And once we get the black trees there, oof, it's gonna look really good. So yeah, I will. I'll show everyone how to um, do that plot. It's it's not hard. It's just very, very, very time consuming. So there is the princess. This is Ali made this for me for one Christmas. Um, so this is probably my favorite gift of all time. Um, she took a card of my mom's. It was a Valentine's Day card. Um, it was the last card she gave me, and she um, imported it into Silhouette Studio. She cut it out and ironed on this pillow. Um, so that's my mom's actual handwriting. So every morning I wake up, it is like my mom is saying, I love you and stuff. So we have to wash it every once in a while because this little one likes to lay her head on it. Um, but I need to do a video on that because I know a lot of people have asked how we do that. You can do it in Cricut Design Space or um, Silhouette Studio. And maybe we'll do a video on that <laughs> this week or next week. There's Tobes. That's where Tobes sits. That's his spot. He loves being under that table. Now Han's making him mad. Han, why do you have to do that to him? Just let him be happy. You don't always, oh geez. All right, guys, let's see here. Um, Debbie says, Sean can truly complete you. Oh, thank you very much. He does. Um, It is interesting because I, uh, last story before I leave, I, met Sean in so I met Sean in November Mm -hmm. right November whoops where am I going November and he came over to my mom's house that December Mm -hmm. which was crazy I was like it's Christmas Eve are you sure you want to come over and he's like yeah and at that time I mean it was all my cousins stuff we were loud and he left and he's like this is crazy and I was like what and he's like we don't really do this no so it was kind of interesting because like i was very lucky i met someone who really didn't have a lot of family traditions Mm -hmm. and spend christmas here or easter so like all my holidays was just instantly his holidays and it was interesting because he had never felt number one that and number two i was lucky because my family was instantly accepting of you know of me being out not only that but Literally three months after telling my family I was gay, I bring Sean to Christmas and he was substantially older than me, generations and decades. No. Um, so I didn't know how they were going to react and, and they, they open arms and they used to love, I mean, they love him. I'm just kidding. Mm-hmm. Um, and stuff. so it, it's great. So I love decorating now. It was hard the first few years after my mom died, but now it's. I love it and but yeah we literally how many times did we watch that video from last year to see where things were uh quite a few times i think i'm gonna go take actual pictures and put it in a folder because <laughs> so we know we where, forget where things go and then if i add stuff and 
So, and I'll always say, Sean, how did we do this last year? And he's like, that's why we take pictures. So now every year before we take stuff down, we take pictures because we forget. We do. We get busy and we forget. Maybe one year so. can happen. Let's see here. Any last questions? Then we got to go. That's what Christmas is all about. You guys are so cool. That sign behind you is awesome. I made this on my Cricut. It's just a reverse canvas. So basically you buy a Ooh. canvas at... Battery's almost done. Michael's, and then we painted it, and then this is just vinyl that I cut. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And those were the first two that we got from Miss Jessica Wilson. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, because our battery is almost dead, we got to go. Thank you for... It's so funny because I always tell people... Oh, I'm going to show our house. And everyone's like, why didn't, would anyone want to see your house at the holidays? Not like, why would they? But it's like, you know, I'm proud of our house and I like to show it off. Of and course. give you a little glimpse of what not we've a lot been of working people, Not on. a lot of people come So over, if you so. reached out over the weekend and I haven't gotten back to you, that's why. Is we've been doing this the entire the time. So invoices for the bundles will start going out tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We're working on that all day tomorrow. And then... Um, been, and the order's been made. We're just waiting for it to get here. It was made, yeah, on yes, Friday. Yes, so... Yep. So... Stay tuned to that. Thank you guys so much for the support and everything. Um, and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks. Bye, everyone. Bye. You want to go push the button? I got it. You push the button. <laughs>